Back in the old days of multi-copters, and that was only about four years ago, there were good, bad, and quite frankly, ugly flight controllers and stacks. So you had to do lots of YouTube watching to fathom out what was best for your latest build. But today, you're sport for choice because there's loads to choose from and they're all very good. Speedy B have just released this version two of their F7 all-in-one flight stack called the TX600. That's got some fantastic and extremely useful tricks up its sleeves. And if you're sad like me, you'll just love the way these look. Shallow I know, but these PCBs are a work of art. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Earlier this year, I reviewed this SpeedyB Wi-Fi dongle that allows you to use their configurator app to connect to your flight controller wirelessly and make whatever changes you need to Beta Flight, Emu Flight and iNav with an app on your phone. And that's extremely convenient. Now they've taken the next step and incorporated all this functionality into the flight controller board. And they've updated their app and included a whole bunch of all the useful things that we really need. Not just the usual flight controller parameters, but motor direction control on BL Heli S and 32, a black box analyzer and a firmware flasher. You connect to the app using Bluetooth to use the configurator and connect using Wi-Fi to flash firmware and download the black box log files. So you can configure your newly built quad wirelessly and fine tune your PIDs, analyze your black box data and tweak any other parameters in between flights, out in the field or on the bench, all with one app. And that's a world first. See, I told you it had a few tricks up its sleeve. Let's have a closer look. Along the top of the flight controller PCB, there's the camera connections, power and receiver UART for SBUS and TBS Crossfire and so on. Plus they put this cutout on the PCB here, so you can squeeze an FPV camera in nice and close if you've got a very small frame. And they've done the same on the ESC board as well. That's a really nice touch. Along the bottom here are the connections for the other four UARTs. So you've got five in total, I2C for GPS and compass, buzzer, LEDs, and analog VTX. So you've got plenty of sensor options. And down the left side here are the power and flight status LEDs. And that LED there is a multicolor LED to show you the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection state. The BMP280 barometer is here and the gyro is mounted right in the center of the board, which is physically the best place for it. On the flip side, you've got the eight-way JST connector that links to the ESC board on that connector there. And you've got here 16 mega flash black box memory. And in the center is the STM32 F722 MCU. And here you've got a Type-C USB connector, and that guy there is the OSD chip. Now, all this stuff down here is a couple of becks. There's a five volt and a nine volt, all at two amps. So you can directly power a DJI or CADEX, as it will soon be known, air unit. And this is DJI ready. So there's a connector and a cable here to plug straight into your air unit. It's all very convenient. And this is all very neatly laid out and the build quality and component quality is fantastic. And it looks very pretty with these yellow gummy mounts. You get a load of mounting hardware with this. Let's go out of the way. You've got some interconnect cables, power cables, low SR capacitor, and some bolts, nuts, and a couple of spare gummies there. And you can power this on anything between three and six S batteries directly. This has a target for beta flight and emu fight, but sadly there's no INAV target just yet. So moving on to the ESC, this is a four in one ESC. It's 45 amps continuous, 55 amps burst current capable. 
supporting all the usual BL Heli32 ESC protocols, including DSHOT 300, 600, and 1200. And down here we've got the current sensor. And there's just so many capacitors on this. Here there's 16 47 microfarad caps on this bit. Very neatly laid out. And on the other side there's another five. So VTX and sensor noise shouldn't really be an issue. I've downloaded and installed the app and you can get this for Android or iOS. And I've temporarily just hooked this up to some power on my power supply, so let's turn that on. There we go, something's happening. And you can choose to connect using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or USB if you want. But the whole point of this is it's wireless, so why would you use USB? Anyway, let's uh, connect with Bluetooth. Let's found the board. Let's say connect. It's connecting. And yeah, look, the green lights come on. That indicates that we are on Bluetooth. And there we go, look, let's just... Wow, look at that. Fantastic. And yeah, headings working, pitch, roll, yeah, it's all good stuff. So let's see what we've got. Let me get ex calibrate the accelerometer. All the normal stuff that you get in beta flight. Let's expand that out a bit. So you've got ports, get rid of that. All those UARTs, lovely. And what else have we got? Configuration. All the usual stuff that if you're used to using EMU flight or beta flight, I say, sadly, there's no uh, INAV target for this. Hopefully somebody will sort that out at some point. So, apart from all that, what am I looking for? Ah, here we go, motors. Now this is where things are slightly different. So you've got the usual thing that allows you to see what's going on. You can run your motors up, which is great, but look here. We've got a couple of really useful things. So you can, if you're on BL Heli 32 or BL Heli S, so let's choose uh, BL Heli 32. I understand. Starting motor direction. There's a whole load of stuff in here. I'm not going to go through it But you know what happens when you're out in the field sometimes you blow a motor you solder a new one in and you realize the motor directions wrong Which normally means you go into BL Heli suite connected up with USB You can just swap the motor direction around with this one amp Amp? Let's say app instead Very good It really is extremely useful Looking forward to using this. Price-wise, this is pretty middle ground, really. It's £68, or around $90, and I'll leave links in the description so you can check out the latest prices. And I think this is a remarkable flight stack. SpeedyB have squeezed a huge amount into this, and you can plug it straight into an air unit or use an analog camera and regular VTX if you want. Plus, there's enough UARTs to connect up pretty much whatever you need so hopefully everyone will be happy. And being able to wirelessly tune your PIDs, change motor direction, analyze your black box data and flash firmware using your smartphone is awesome. I've got a long range build that I'm planning to use this in. So watch this space to see how it all works out. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe down here and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. And I'll see you next time.